there's a lot of controversy about the uh, uh, black players in the NFL kneeling. Actually, it's not only black players, but white players as well, kneeling uh, when the national anthem is uh, being played. And the argument is, is that they're upset with the uh, police uh, killing and the mistreatment of black Americans. But they don't tell the whole story. And I think they're misled, and I think some facts will uh, show the how misled or misguided the uh, NFL players are who take the knee. Uh, according to the Washington Post, so far this year, 737 people have been shot and killed by police. Uh, 329 of them were white and 165 were blacks. I think that uh, we're not paying attention to the, the real uh, killing of blacks and we just need to look at a few of our cities. Uh, for example, in Chicago, uh, so far this year, there have been over 533 murders, most of them blacks. There have been close to 3,000 shootings. Most of the victims are black. In fact, on the average, in the, just, we're just looking at one city, on the average, uh, each, uh, each two and a half hours, a person is shot in the uh, city of Chicago. Uh, every 12 and a half hours, a person is murdered in Chicago. And again, most of them are blacks. And adding to the tragedy is the fact that less than 13% of the homicides are cleared. What that means is that only 13% of the perpetrators are ever caught and brought to trial. I think that those are the issues that need to be looked at. And, and if you look at 25% uh, of all the homicides in our country, they occur in the cities of Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C., predominantly black cities. I think that NFL players would be doing far more if they would focus their attention and try to do something about this wanton murder in many of our cities. And I know, as a black person, that these crime statistics are not flattering at all. But um, if there's going to ever be anything done about them, we need to pay attention to the reality and forget about showboating.